Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? Warbots tail up in this mood. No, in with the old today. Today is just a regular old unboxing and painting up of the Warhammer Fantasy Battle 12 plus. Yeah, right. 12. If, if you're 12 years old and you can paint like this, then leave me a comment because you're my hero. Vampire Counts Necromancer. And this is the newest plastic model for the Necromancer for the Vampire Counts range. And it came out with the Storm of Magic expansion for Warhammer Fantasy. And it looks great. I mean, the last Necromancer model was all metal and had a huge top knot and was kind of meh. I don't know. You know, if, if you've got it and, and you painted it up and it looks good, then, you know, power to you. But I don't know. I just, I never really liked it. The only Necromancer model I really liked was Heinrich Kemmler, the Lich Master. And that's because I got into the hobby, this whole Warhammer Games Workshop thing, when I was a kid and I bought a copy of Return of the Lich Master for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. First edition, the campaign was so much fun. It was getting rid of Heinrich Kemmler and his White King associate Krell while also heading off to Skaven. And it was my first foray into, into roleplaying and into Warhammer and it was it was so much fun. Anyways, Heinrich Kemmler, the figure, if you can get it, that is awesome. But today we're looking at the Vampire Counts Necromancer. <laughs> a little bit of history today in my, my geeky life, my nerdy life. Okay, so let's take a look at the sprue. Just like the other one, the Warriors of Chaos Sorcerer, it's only one half of a sprue, so they can churn out twice as much. Games Workshop. And it looks like the body comes in a bunch of different pieces with the custom base again. And these new models, the instructions are on the back on how to put them together. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll be back when he's all put together. All right, so I'm almost done gluing my guy together and I put the sleeves on and I was just putting on this head crest thing trying to glue it on when you know I just couldn't get it on and these little spinal things on the end are really fragile and man it's really frustrating because I, I feel like I was gonna break it trying to fit it in like there's no room you see and then you can't just like put it down you can't just slip it in from the top because look at the way that it's shaped so you have to go from the outside and just slip it on slip it over this little headpiece and like I was gonna break it out so frustrated it's like there's no way to figure out how you're supposed to put it on like I put on the arms the two parts of the upper body first and you know it's just so frustrating that GW doesn't give you any kind of like instructions on when you're supposed to put on one two and then four. Oh. So here's the built up Necromancer and I love this figure. I love the the motion. Looks like a wind is sweeping his robes from, be from behind. Now that he's all put together I love just everything about him. He's really great. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a close-up on his creepy old man face. You can't get away from my warhammers! Alright players, I've finished my necromancer. And here he is next to the artwork. I think the only thing I really changed that was different was that I gave the skull some glowing blue eyes just to give him a little bit of color because otherwise, as you can see, the model is only just a bunch of dark reds and blacks. And I also gave the necromancer for the, his cloak, I highlighted with blue and white. There you go. 
but I like the 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 earth, the dusty. It looks like there he had dust on the bottom of his of his cloak, so I did the same thing with mine. Dusted some Kemri Brown to look like he's been walking through graveyards and dirtying up the bottom of his robe. Really happy with this model. Let's see if I can get a little bit of a close-up on his face. His eyes, I painted them to look like he's like someone caught him casting magic, like he's looking off to the side. Like, huh? what? Oh! Oh, oh, uh, it's not what it looks like. Um, you see, the thing is... Shut up, shut up, shut up, you skull, shut up. This goes to Bojo Nagasha, so we will shut up. Oh, you did it now, you did it now. Um, see what else? There's not really much to say. I mean, the staff, I, I painted up some streaks on it to kind of look like this staff here. But I used bleached bone and then it came out... Oh, sorry about that. Focus, please. Came out a little bit too bright, so I dulled it down with Devlin mud. Yeah. And let's see if there's anything else really to say about the model. He's got this little wart on his forehead, so I decided to paint it up like it was about to pop. Really red and aggravated. And I just did a little dot of scab red, and for the, for the tip of the wart, I painted it with Deneb stone. The skin color was a little bit hard to get because looking at the model, it looks like it's got a dark reddish purple tinge to it. So I base coated my model skin with Deneb stone to make it look sickly and unhealthy and then I washed it a little bit with some purple into the dark crevices and recesses as you can see there. Alright, I hope you guys like it, and please comment, subscribe, like, thumbs up this video, and this was just a little bit of an unboxing and a review on the Vampire Counts Necromancer that was released with the Storm of Magic. Hope you guys like it. Take care.